honey, this is only adding <laughs> to the mommy fail of the costume. <laughs> oh, baby, quit playing in that thing. <laughs> hey guys, it's late and I am tired, but I want to do this video before Halloween gets any further away. Um, oh, okay, so this is going to be one of those videos I look back on and say, what was I thinking or what was I not thinking, to be completely honest. We have all, of, well, most people have seen the Saturday Night Live skit with Justin Timberlake titled, um, Tick in the Box. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I thought it was cute play on words before you dirty birds messed it up for me, but I did Deke in the Box because it's like Deacon the Box. Like it sounded cool. It totally worked. Yeah. Uh, my bad. The aluminum handle handle thing with jig, the aluminum handle handle that I made was very inappropriate <laughs> after I saw Oh my gosh. This is going to be those one of those costumes. Okay, this is going to be the costume. Oh, I don't know. 10 years. What, how old is he? Five and a half? Okay, hopefully not 10 years. 15 years from now. Where he's like, Mom, what were you thinking? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. So. Um. Anyways. I want to share with you guys some clips of the night along with some pictures. Drake was a mummy. Oh, okay. So let's talk about something that's not complete mom fail. Like mom fail. Like I, I did a great job this Halloween. Um, I actually had a little bit of money set aside. I mean, not a crazy Halloween budget, but I'm like, I'm going to spend that money instead of making their costumes this year because oftentimes I'll make their costumes. Actually, every single time I've made their costumes, I've never bought one. But it costs just as much as buying a costume, usually. This year was the exception. So I planned on just buying this year and just giving myself the time off. Things have been crazy. I've been working so many things. It's absurd. And uh, yeah, I was like, I'm just going to make it a little easier on myself. I just did Drake's birthday, blah, blah, blah. I could just keep naming excuses. So anyways, that's what I said. And then we were looking, we were sitting in my mom's house and we were just looking through websites because the kids couldn't decide. Halloween was a week away and Deacon out of nowhere just says, I want to be a jack in the box. And we're like, okay, I guess I'm making a costume this year. Anyways, I just pulled stuff together and I ordered him like a, one of those jester hats off of Amazon. I think it was like six, six dollars, five ninety nine or something like that. It's cheap. And that's all I bought. Oh, I'm sorry. I bought two Halloween buckets, the little 99 or dollar ones from Target. You guys saw that haul. Uh, so the total was $8, six, seven, eight. Yeah. $8 for Halloween. That's all I spent on Halloween this year because all of Deacon's costume was, is these like little organizational cubes. I zip tied them together. I put paper on them. I cut out the letters and, um, what else? Just dressed them in like appropriate clothing. Bada bing. Drake was a mummy because I did, I haven't shared this yet. When my sister was in town, my friend was watching Drake. He decided that he wanted to stand up on a chair when she was getting him seconds. He fell off, busted his head open. Yeah, bad news bears. But uh, luckily, uh, we, okay, so I didn't know that it happened. I called her because I had four missed calls and they called me ASAP text and I completely just, I guess my sister said I just completely went white. I was just, my stomach, I just lost it. And, um, we got over there as soon as possible. And then he was okay. We took him up to my parents' house. My sister, my sister's a um, doctor. So we took him up to my parents' house and she cleaned him up and, and investigated and checked him out. And, uh, yeah, he was, he didn't need stitches. Thank goodness. But, um, I hear there was a lot of blood and based off of my friend's shirt and Drake's shirt, there was a lot of blood. So, when we were driving back to go get Drake, this is a horrible way to choose a Halloween costume. He had no, he doesn't care. He didn't care. He had no request to be anything. And I was just kind of like waiting for it to come to me. Well, when we were driving home, we were trying to make some light. That sounds so bad of the situation. But I mean, I knew he was like, he wasn't in like, it wasn't a dire emergency. So it was kind of, it was kind of acceptable. But um, I was a wreck and we were trying to make light of the situation and what we decided was that if he needed stitches, he was going to go as Frankenstein for Halloween. And if he didn't need stitches, he was going to go as a mummy because my sister tried to wrap his, later she tried to wrap his head just to kind of, because it was still, you know, it would still bleed a little bit. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so 
uh, that's how Drake became a mummy this year. We'll forever remember getting that emergent call and like leaving and I'm panicked and oh, it was the worst feeling ever. It was horrible just knowing that I couldn't be there. Oh, this is off topic. Anyways, that's how Drake became a mummy for Halloween. And that's why Deacon was a jack in the box or a deek in the box. And, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google Justin Timberlake Saturday Night Live. Just probably just box would be sufficient. Anyways, here's some pictures of our Halloween night. I hope you enjoy these, and, um, yeah, go me. <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Oh, I won't give you that one. Get your bowl up there. Oh, I'll weed off the ground all the time. Come on. <laughs> We're a good bunch to give it to you. Have fun. Oh, bye. Thank you so much. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Have a fun night. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> Grusty Car. Is he still alive? Some pieces. Just scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> I like that one. Do you laugh again? <laughs> Cutie.